Okay, this is <clears throat> Yikesdote754, and we're back with Duke Nukem Total Meltdown TC. Episode 2, level 7, we're in a reactor. <sighs> Jesus Christ, this is the third go I'm having on this map. I died twice, and if there's ever going to be a level where I die in Duke Nukem 3D, that it's going to be a Lunar Reactor. I died, um, uh, let me think, I got squished by a door and then there was something else. Oh yeah, and then I got squished by that little thing, which I think, uh, it was, it was that, um, what was that thing? It was that, I don't remember what it was. Oh, never mind. It was actually that. <clears throat> let me think. It was that um, little uh, thing that you have to kind of like activate, and then uh, <clears throat> there is a secret behind it, and it's one of those little things that go back and forth. And once you press it, and if you get stuck between them. It kind of sucks, and I, that's how I died. So, yeah. Let's hope it goes a little bit better this time. But yeah, anyway, this map, even I... I hate it. It, it has pretty decent song, I would say. And particularly in this game, it, it really has a great song. And yes, <laughs> as I promised, um, I will share that uh, the most embarrassing death that I've probably ever had uh, in Duke Nukem 3D. <laughs> so here goes. It was uh, 1997 or 1998 when I got this game. Um, and I was fighting those battle lords. I don't remember, it was probably around that yellow door area maybe. And when, oh yeah, it was definitely that yellow door area where you have like two mini battle lords but I think it, I was playing probably on piece of cake or something but anyway I was struggling so I often came back to this toilet to drink uh, to get some extra health and stuff and here we do have this thing for those who don't know this is um, actually meant to connect the bathroom and the waste tunnel area so, there is a point in this map, coming soon enough, that uh, a number of Protozoid Slimers will be spawned in. Some of them will be spawned inside that waste um, tunnel area. So, obviously when I had not like dealt with all of them, so I was like drinking around here casually and... Since I like the music of this map, I was... I was, you know, probably drinking from this toilet and I kind of like left the game on pause for some time and I was listening for, for the music and then I left my room for a couple of minutes and the next thing I know that I'm dead. And there, is, uh, there, were, there were no monsters in this room. It turned out that um, <laughs> there was a protozoid slimer inside that uh, waste management area. He had actually entered this uh, bathroom from this vent that will open up later on. Um, he, so he, like, crawled all the way from here to here to kill me. <laughs> and that is the most embarrassing death in Duke Nukem 3D that you can probably have. And yes, I was actually once killed by, uh, during a Duke match game with a friend of mine. Uh, it was pretty funny, but I was killed by, uh, a steam. One of those steam sprites that they actually deal some damage. Really?
where did he go? I think he may... Oh god, you got to be kidding me. I hope he's not around here. <gasps> oh, never mind. I thought he was inside the vents. Alright, I need to make sure that there are no slimers around here. No? Oh jeez. And then there's this part. And what I like doing here is that I stick around here. And then there's that guy. Which makes the encounter a little bit interesting because of this. God. So painful. Alright, let's just wait around wait around here and till all of the slimers come our way. Yeah, there should be at least one or two more maybe. And I'm probably gonna backtrack to that um what was that? Uh, the bathroom to pick up the new portable medkit, I think. Unless I probably picked it up already, maybe. I don't think I can hear any more slimers, no? But let's keep on kicking because this is a good song, so why not to kick? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and then there's this thing. Your ugly corpse will be disposed of. Thank you. Thanks. And I think there was another one. Yeah. Jesus. And if there's ever going to be a moment when you need uh, laser trip mines, this will be the moment. So let's place a couple of them here. Yeah, I think that did a pretty good job. Yeah. Thanks. And yes, here we do have, I think we had pipe bombs around here somewhere, maybe. And of course, armor. That's what we need. Uh, yeah. And I think, yeah. There we do have that one, and... That's cool. So now we should have most of the stuff that we came here for. And then there's this part. <clears throat> yeah. You don't want to get stuck behind those things. And here we do have the first secret of the map. And it's kind of funny that <laughs> it's a little bit like Doom. Yeah, it's flat. <laughs> Yeah, that's dangerous. That that's where I died uh, previously. And I think one of the assault troopers he fell down there, but I'm gonna deal with him later. So yeah, you can make this jump without a jetpack, so. This is dangerous. Because when you walk 
around that part, that tunnel will collapse and bad things happen. So keep that in mind. Really? Alright, now we have those guys dealt with. Out of the way, stupid tunnel things. And here we do have this secret, secret number two. And I think there's a jetpack uh, out there somewhere. Uh, and I think there was this one little secret. Oh yeah! And then there was this secret. I almost actually forgot about that secret. I'm glad I did find it. And then there was this one last secret with the reference. Uh, oh jeez. Where it's at? Oh yeah, there it is. And Duke did not say anything in the original game, so he should not say anything in this one. A couple of Octobrains, no big deal. I'm just gonna be, you know, going down here just, <clears throat> just to be sure, because you never know what happens. Jesus. Yeah, I'm glad I did. But usually, like, you know, this is a lethal drop, and if you don't have a jetpack, you're gonna die. So, keep that in mind. But... Yeah... Let's get out of here. We do have four secrets out of seven. Let me think. I need to start thinking. Get a full clip. And yeah. Here we do have night vision goggles. Somebody got squished. That's always great. That's a little bit of a backtrack thing, so we won't be going there just yet. And I believe that there may have been a crack around here somewhere, I think. Maybe? I think it was around here. No? Oh, there it is. And if there's ever going to be a moment where I die, it's going to be this one. I hope not. No? Secret number five. Oh, jeez. I, to be honest, don't know where the last secrets are. Could it be this one, maybe? No. But we do get these guys. Because the blue door area, I don't think it has any secrets anymore. No. But let's go over here anyway. And there are two of those very ugly guys. No big deal. And this was one of the secrets, I believe. No? Are you serious? <clears throat> okay, maybe, uh, wait a minute. I think, yeah, here we had night vision goggles. I'm just wandering around because I don't remember where the last two secrets were. Maybe they were inside that reactor core, I don't know. But also the reactor core area uh, in the original game, it was very famous for its uh, lack of FPS because once you reveal the reactor, the game kind of like slowed down quite a lot. So, and 
you want to come back to life, thanks. And yeah, there's the reactor, so... Really? Thanks. Time to put on some goggles. And yeah, the reactor core had like plenty of enforcers in it, so it's it's bad. Yeah, secret number six. And I think secret number seven is that other other one, so they're really like they're not much of a secret secrets really. Let's turn on the lights so we can see something. Yeah. Yay, I got everything. That's cool. So now we're out of harm's way. Press this one to lower the reactor core. There you go. And you can basically use any weapon you want. Then quickly take cover over here because the reactor explodes and then there's Jesus Christ. I hate commanders uh, on PlayStation because they don't make any sound. And they are also st more stupid on PlayStation, so that's also... <sighs> and then there's this one. I need to make sure that I have everything. Okay. Cool. Thank God. Not coming back anytime soon. Sweet Lord Jesus, that is episode 2 level 7 Lunar Reactor. <clears throat> God, this map really took me so much longer than I, I expected. Because I was, uh, I also wanted to be more careful on this one because I died twice before, so... And I wasn't quite sure about the secrets either, but fortunately I came, came across came across the last two uh, in that reactor core, so that was important. But, you know, Lunar Reactor, it's its a pretty tough map. It, it really is. And uh, Actually, this map had three mini battle lords in, instead of four, like I said misleadingly. Oh, jeez. Here we go again. A video game that proceeds without your permission. But anyway, um, uh, I said that, you know, this map, I mean, Lunar Reactor had uh, four mini battle lords in it. It actually did have three, so yeah, I did remember wrong. <clears throat> but anyway, um, it took me a plenty of time to complete that map, and it was a pretty tough map. And, and also what makes Lunar Reactor quite difficult is the fact that some of the monsters, uh, and the Slimers in particular, particularly the first battle or fight, that's really tedious, really dangerous stuff. Because you had the Slimers going on all over the place, and then um, you got this battle lord across the bridge, or whatever thing that is. You can't really, like, ignore those enemies, and also those two battle lords, um, at the yellow door, that's very dangerous. Not to mention that you got these grinding gears. I got squished by <laughs> that uh, thing that you had to push once. Like those walls kind of like move away from each other and then they just slam shut. And I, I got killed by that thing. So that's, that's, that's dangerous on one of my earlier attempts. And then there is that lunar, uh, that kind of a moon surface area where you can kind of like fall to your death, then there's the collapsing tunnel, and while you while you also might be, you know, interested of finding some secrets in that Lunar Canyon area, uh, fail to make a jump, you can die, so that map has so much difficulty in it. It's like, it's not only just the monsters that make it difficult, it is also that um, the environmental hazards are present very strong there, so very very difficult map and I would say that it's it's the hardest map of sec sec the second episode Lunar Apocalypse 
But fortunately, we're all done with Lunar Reactor. I don't have to go back to that level anytime soon, so I'm really grateful that I don't have to do it. But fortunately, we're about to take on one of my favorite levels of Duke Nukem 3D, Episode 2, Level 8, Dark Side. Yeah, <laughs> I love this map. This, this, is, this is probably the best map, one of the best maps in the game, at least for me, that is. But with that, I think we're all done with Episode 2, Level 7, Lunar Reactor. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. So yeah, thanks for watching, and see you around.